butter smack twice. Welcome one and all to the KOE Nation for the Bourbon Tournament, folks. We are moving onward and upward, and we have four amazing bourbons. I am your King of Extreme, the Baron of Bourbon himself, joined by my indomitable broadcast partners, the one, the only... Style and profile and chicken. And... Tony G, like, share, subscribe. Here we go. Yes, the invasion of Castle KOE continues, and we are moving onward and upward for another bracket in the Bourbon Tournament. And we have four amazing competitors here. We've got Four Roses, Small Batch. We've got Old Forester 1920 Prohibition Style. Bookers, it's getting tragically low. And also... The one you're all here to see, Blanton's. And it's also getting a little low, but fear not. I have another bottle of this exact same barrel. So we are safe. And this is, even if this one don't win, I still have another bottle of this same barrel. So, hooray. <laughs> uh, so for those who do not know at home, this is a four, three, two, one point must system. One bourbon has to be given one point. One bourbon has to be given two points. One has to be given three points. One has to be given four points. And whichever bourbon has the most points at the end will be the one that moves on in the final four. We've already had one move up and we're gonna see which one challenges Jim Beam Black from the budget bracket in the final four. Now, from here on out, there's not a lot of budget bourbons. These are the heavy hitters of Kentucky and a few outsiders, but that's to come, folks. So, we are about to get into this. We are going to give each of these whiskeys a nose and a taste. And by the time it's done, we will give each one a grade. I have the cheat sheet for what they are right here. And I assure you, gentlemen, I have done my best job at forgetting. Shouldn't be hard. Nope. Yeah, and th they do not doubt that at all. No, they know no, it's probably no. the most honest thing I've said today. Yeah. So, yes. all right, let's start off with A, which I actually don't remember which one. Well, fan uh, fast. <laughs> <sighs> I really like that. That is nice. Very wood. Yeah. Mm. Rich. Yeah, love the nose here. Well. Like I said in the last video, can't really figure out by talking about it. Mm. Oh, that's oh, that's mm. really nice. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. Oh, it's so hot, but so good. That is really nice. Really nice. Mm. So it's got a little heat. So smooth for being that hot. Wooden heat. Wow. Oh, that's really good. That's gonna be hard not to write down for already. Well. Mm. I think we've got somebody who's a fan. Now we move on to B. Compared to that one, it's boring. I was say it, it's comparable, but it's lighter. Yeah. Almost. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, it gets hot on the mouth. Yeah, it gradually gets a little more and more and more intense, but <laughs> it kind of hits a wall. Yeah. Clears up the sinus. Yeah, it does. Oh. Warm. oh, that's nice. Wow. Mm. It's yeah, that's good. Like, it's that's really like good. cayenne pepper. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, that's good. That's really good. Definitely I think that one was a little bit sweeter, maybe. A little, maybe. Let's see. This is even lighter on the nose. Well, we've got some pretty high and low proofs here. Yeah. So super light. Mm. Super smooth. Very, very, very smooth. Uh, very light. Mm -hmm. Almost a tang, a woody tang. Mm. Sweet. Definitely sweet on the back end. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of a tart, but yeah, this is really sweet and nice and very mellow compared to the first two. Oh, very close. Very man. drinkable. Ninja like skills saved it. So, mm, all sure. right. Now, we move D. on to D. 
a little more, a little more woodsy on the nose here, but still fairly light. Oh, hmm. wow, clean, very. Yep, it's it's got it, it's a sweetness, but it's like a like a caramel. I know how I'm not, grading it. Not, not over. I kind of have an idea how I'm going to do it too, but I'm going to go through one more time just in case. I already know. Mm. Oh, I gotta oh. jump back and forth between those two. Mm. Oh. Mm. These are all great bourbons, but I already know which one's going to be my numero uno. Okay. Act A. After my. Okay. Now I know. Okay. Yep. That's just how it has to be. I'm changing one thing. All right. I'm gonna let you guys get your mm. get your last few moments. Uh, Tony, are you done? Mm -hmm. All right. Pencil down. Chicken not still. Quite. It's chicken still deciding here. He is not. Mm. Which you know is totally understandable. These are great bourbons. These just these all worked so well together. Um, it was just a smooth transition from each to the next. Uh, the the order was about perfect. I'd say from B to C was the most stark. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like this this was this was tough here. Like these were very comparable A and B, and then C and D were very comparable. So yeah, the transition from B to C was significant, but it, it worked. Hmm. Very nice line. Very, very nice flight. Well, these are some heavyweights mm. of the bourbon world. Indeed. All right. Pencil down, chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of great sure. stuff here. Yeah. You know, that is fair. This A lot is of research science. here. This is science these for you, These are really, folks. really good. All four of them are really yeah, good. Yeah, there's not a bad this option there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, wow. I did change mine just a little Pencils bit. Down. Okay. Pencils down. Pencils down. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. The reveal time, folks. I'm excited for this one. Okay. I have an idea how this worked out, but I'm, I'm eager to see. Keep it. A. It's Old Forester 1920. Mm. That I'm not shocked by. I expected okay. that. And uh, curious. Uh, well, we'll get to the reveals and we'll do our points. Okay. B was Booker's. That was the spicy meatball. Mm -hmm. yep. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Yep. C was Blanton's. And D was Four Roses. Now, nice. that, gentlemen. That's exactly what I expected. And I'm. Let's you're going to be very surprised, I think, by my grading. All righty. Now, Chicken, how many points did you give Old Forester Whiskey A? I gave it two. Two? Tony, what'd you give it? Three. I also gave it three, so that gives it a total of eight. So not bad. All right. Not bad. Booker's. Chicken, what'd you give uh, whiskey B, which would be Booker's? One. One. Tony, what'd you give it? You four. Gave it four. I also gave it one. So four, five, six points. It's unfortunate. Like, wow. It's like, now Tony yeah. likes some spicy. He likes some minty. He's got a different palate than <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, for sure. Um, but, all right, now, C, the Blantons. Uh, what did you give it, Chicken? Four. I also gave it four. Tony, what'd you give it? One, believe it or not. Oh, wow. Believe it or not. So, nine points. This is going to be a tight one. Yeah. Okay, now, four roses. I gave two points. Chicken, what'd you give it? Three. Three, five. Two. So five, six, seven points. Wow, that is a this tight was, race. This was a tight, tight race. The point scores were six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, <laughs> there was no runaway with this. But, all right, we'll start with the one that got the least amount of points. Booker's. My, which... my four-point pick. Yeah, and that was what really made this so close. Um, and yeah, so this is something, if you're really into a spicy bourbon, you like yeah. a spicy meatball, this is the one for you now. Tony, 
when you're at the end of a day and you've got a moment to have a dram, I suspect you want a little bit of pack in that punch. Well, you know, that's why I usually go for like a turkey 101. I want some I want some high proof, but yeah, if I've had a really rough day, uh, my specific bottle is the pig skin batch at home and it's even more intense than this uh, one. This is the last of my kitchen table batch from 2018, which is just, oh, it'll be shame to see you go, but I'm sorry, Bookers. You were not able to defeat Blanton's tonight, chicken, off to the island of Misfit Toys. I'm disappointed. I, you know, I kind of am too, but it was fitting. The next lowest scoring at seven points is Four Roses Small Batch. Now, considering how close the scores were here, no whiskey should really walk away feeling shame. No, here. no, not at all. Um, this is a very smooth, very easy drinking bourbon. I, you know, this is a this is a great daily drinker. If you don't want to, yes. if you don't want to cough up smoke drinking your bourbon, this is a excellent option. This is a very nice bottle, very smooth. Yep, I think this one was just a little more woody and a little hotter versus Blanton was just so sweet. So, yeah. So four roses, we love you, but you did not make it the day. Now, Four Roses might have another shot with a bullet tenure, but that's another. <laughs> now, the last two, eight and nine points. It was one point difference. Old Forester 1920 almost made it to the finals of the Sweet 16 Bourbon Tournament. That close. But I think it it's 115 heat was what lost out to this beautiful, marvelous suite. Mm -hmm. Now, this is really close and either one of them could have made it and a good chunk of the fans would be happy. But I'm sorry, old Forrester, 1920, you're amazing stuff, but you did not advance in the bourbon tournament. And now folks, we have, so folks, it's not just hype. This is actually really good whiskey. Mm -hmm. It is. Two Very guys good. in a blind and me, I kind of like when I sipped it, like, yeah, that's the Blanton's. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so Blanton's is the one that moves on to the final four. We've got half of them already decided and we've still got the other half to go, folks. So don't you dare. Take your eyes off this space because there's plenty more to come. Now, before we let the folks go, Tony, is there anything you'd like to say? You know, I think there's going to be a lot of people that see the 1920 not win and going to be very upset about that. But those same people are probably going to be pretty happy that uh, Blanton's at least did get a one because of all the hate that it gets online. <laughs> yep, yep. So we showed you in a blind, it actually made it. Chicken, anything you'd like to say to the folks? No, uh, the unicorn is worth getting if you do happen to run into a bottle. So it's it's not all just a hype train. It is a very, very fine bourbon. It is. Yes, yes. Well, folks, the sacred horse moved on. So as I'm known to say around here, guys, all that being said, thank you for joining us for this next bracket round of the bourbon tournament blanton's the original single barrel has moved on we've got plenty more to go folks so be sure to like share subscribe here at the koe nation i am your king of extreme phil koe the baron of bourbon himself signing off and handing it off to my indomitable broadcast partners tony g chicken later <laughs>